Laudator Jesus Christus, praised be Jesus Christ. Welcome to the live broadcast of the Stations of the Cross from St. Peter's Square in Rome, presided over by His Holiness Pope Francis. On behalf of Vatican News, I'd like to welcome all of you who are joining us for this liturgy from around the world. Welcome to all of you joining us through various Vatican media channels, through the Vatican News web portal, the Vatican audio app, through the Vatican News YouTube channel, as well as those joining us through Catholic TV, Shalom World TV and Sunday Shalom, EWTN, Salt and Light TV, at Madashan TV and Catholic Faith Network. Welcome also to all of you joining us through radio stations, especially Luminous Radio and Radio Maria Latvia, or through internet sources. I'm Father Philip Whitmore, and I'm joined today by Ben Sinclair. Together we will be providing the English language texts and translations for the meditations during this evening's Stations of the Cross. The reflections for Stations of the Cross this evening have been provided by children and young people. There are two main groups involved. There's a group of scouts from Foligno in Umbria, and there's also a parish group from the Ardiatine region of Rome itself, a little to the south of the city centre. That's the parish dedicated to the martyrs of Uganda. The children and young people have provided reflections drawn from their daily lives, and there are also some drawings done by children who are at children's homes in different parts of Rome, and those drawings will be displayed in St. Peter's Square to accompany us as we make this sorrowful journey with Jesus. We welcome all of you joining us through the television stations picking up this worldwide telecast. The Stations of the Cross on the evening of Good Friday are normally held at the Colosseum in Rome, but according to the restrictions, the need to avoid large gatherings, the Holy Father has decided this year, as last year, that he will lead the reflections here in St. Peter's Square. And out on display in the square is the crucifix, which is normally in the basilica at the altar of the chair, now displayed outside for all to see. The Stations of the Cross follow our Lord's path from Pontius Pilate's Praetorium to Calvary and the tomb. They are a popular devotion in parishes all over the world, especially during Lent and in the time leading up to Holy Week and Easter. Sometimes the devotion is called the Via Crucis, or the Way of the Cross. Sometimes it's called the Via Dolorosa, which is the name of the actual roads in Jerusalem that our Lord followed on his way to Calvary. It's been the custom to visit the holy places and walk the way of the cross, following in our Lord's footsteps, since the time of the Church Fathers. Saint Jerome in the fourth century lived in the Holy Land, and he tells us that many pilgrims would come to Jerusalem to walk the way of the cross. There came a time when Christians could no longer access the holy places easily, and that was when reproductions of the stations were first set up at popular spiritual shrines all over Europe. It was only after the Reformation, though, that the devotion became really popular in Catholic churches. By the middle of the 18th century, all priests were asked to have Stations of the Cross in their churches.
Caro Gesù, tu sai che anche i bambini hanno delle croci. Dear Jesus, you know that children also have crosses to carry, crosses that are no lighter or heavier than those of adults, but they are still real crosses, crosses that weigh them down even at night. Only you know what they are and take them seriously. Only you. Only you know how hard it is for them to learn not to be afraid of the dark and being all alone. Only you know how hard it is to wake up every morning after wetting the bed. Solo tu. Sai quanto è difficile Only you know how hard it is to be unable to speak as well as others do, to think quickly and to do arithmetic. Only you know how hard it is to see their parents fight and slam the door and not talk to each other for days. Only you know how hard it is to be made fun of and not to be invited to parties. Solo tu. Sai che significa essere per i bambini poveri. Only you know what it means to be poor and to have to do without things their friends have. Solo tu. Only you know how hard it is to reveal a terrible secret, not knowing who to tell for fear of being betrayed, accused, or not believed. Dear Jesus, you once were a child like them. You used to play and maybe you would fall and hurt yourself. You also went to school, and maybe some of your schoolwork was not exactly great. You too had a mum and a dad. And you know, there are times when children today don't really want to obey them, when they say it's time for homework, or time to take out the rubbish or to make the bed, or to tidy up the room. You too went to religion classes and to prayer, and you know that children are not always too keen to go there. Dear Jesus, you know more than anyone else that there are children in our world who have nothing to eat, who can't go to school, who are being exploited and forced to become soldiers. Help them to carry their crosses every day as you carried yours. Help them to become better and better, to become what you want them to be. We thank you because we know that you are always close and that you never abandon them especially when they are most afraid. And thank you too for sending them a guardian angel to light and guard them every day. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. first station, Pontius Pilate condemns Jesus to death. From the Gospel according to Luke. Pilate addressed them once more, desiring to release Jesus, but they shouted out, Crucify him, crucify him. So Pilate gave sentence that their demand should be granted. 
He released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder. But Jesus he delivered up to their will. When I was in the first grade, Marco, one of the children in my class, was accused of sealing his classmate's snack. I knew it wasn't true, but I said nothing. It was not my problem, and everyone said he was the guilty one. Why should I have got myself involved? Whenever I think about it, I still feel ashamed. I'm sorry for what I did. I could have helped my friend. I could have told the truth and made things right. Instead, I acted like Pilate and decided to keep quiet. I chose the easier way and washed my hands of it. Now I'm so sorry for this. I wish I had had a bit of courage, followed my heart and helped my friend in need. Sometimes we only listen to the voices of those who think and do evil, while doing what is right like an uphill road, full of obstacles and difficulties. But we have Jesus at our side, always ready to support and help us. Jesus, give me a simple and sincere heart. That way I will have the courage and strength, even when it is hard, to do what you have told us is right. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Lord, loving Father, fill us with your Holy Spirit and grant us your strength. Only in this way will we find the courage to bear witness to your truth, which is the path to justice and reconciliation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. From the Gospel of St. Luke. Now the men who were holding Jesus mocked him and beat him. They also blindfolded him and asked him, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? And they spoke many other words against him, reviling him. In class, we took turns reading the book The Seagull and the Gat. When it was Martina's turn, she began to mix up the letters, and so none of it made sense. Le frasi persero di significato. Parola dopo parola, At every word, I would laugh. E con me, tutti gli altri. And the others laughed with me. Ricorda ancora Martina, tutta rossa. I still remember Martina all red in the face, her voice cracking and her eyes full of tears. Maybe it wasn't our intention to make fun of her, but how much pain we caused by our laughter. Persecution isn't just something that happened 2,000 years ago. At times, some of our actions can judge 
mistreat and hurt one of our brothers or sisters. Perhaps there were times when hurting someone made us feel good, because seeing their suffering could make us hide our own unhappiness. Jesus taught us to love, and in his love we find the answer to all our suffering. We should make every effort not to hurt others, but to be good to them. Jesus, nothing will ever separate us from your love. Make us able to love our less fortunate brothers and sisters. Lord, loving Father, you sent us Jesus, who was obedient unto death. May the power of your love enable us courageously to take up our own cross. Give us your hope, so that we can know you are there, even in the darkest moments of our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tu, adveniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidiano da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentazione, se libera nos amalo. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. Dal libro del profeta Isaia. From the prophet Isaiah. Si è caricato delle nostre sofferenze. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Noi lo giudicavamo castigato. Yet we esteemed him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. È stato trafitto per le nostre colpe. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. In quinta elementare ero il più bravo in matematica. In the fifth grade, I was the best best student at maths in my class. I finished the tests in a few minutes, and the mark I received was always the same. Excellent. But the first time I received a failing mark, I felt upset and worthless. This unexpected failure was too much for me. Suddenly I felt alone, with no one to comfort me. But that moment made me grow. At home my parents comforted me and showed me their love. I picked myself up and continued to study hard. Now I realize that we can stumble and fall daily. But Jesus is always there to hold out his hand to us, to help us bear the weight of our crosses, and to give us new hope. Jesus, you fell beneath the heavy cross you were carrying. I oft too often fall and get hurt. Keep me on the right path and grant me the strength I need to bear my burdens together with you. Lord, you took upon yourself our sufferings and shared in them even to carrying the cross, its burden and its humiliation. Do not abandon us under the weight of our heavy crosses, 
that sometimes seem all too heavy for us to bear, who live and reign for ever and ever. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tu, adveniat reinum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odio, e finite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione, se libera nos amare. Amen. O quam Christis et Afrita, ui illa veneri, Mater Quarta stazione. Gesù incontra sua madre. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Dal Vangelo secondo Giovanni. From the Gospel of John. Venuto a mancare il vino... When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, what have you to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. When I think of my mother, I see her gentle face, I feel the warmth of her embrace, and I realize how much love she has for me. She takes me everywhere, to football practice, to language classes, and to catechism on Sunday mornings. In the evening, even if she's tired, she helps me do my homework. When I have nightmares, she sits with me, she calms me down, and waits for me to go back to sleep. If I have a problem, a question, or just some unpleasant thoughts, she is always ready to listen to me with a smile. At my worst moments, I don't need to say anything. One look is enough. She understands immediately and helps me to work through all my problems. Di farci abbracciare da Maria, nostra Jesus, madre del make cielo. us experience the loving embrace of Mary, our mother in heaven. Preghiamo. Signore, Padre buono. Lord, loving Father, may we feel the gentle gaze of Mary so that, realizing that we are no longer alone, each of us may find rest in her maternal embrace, for she embraced and loved everyone in Jesus, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, e rinite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimintimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione, se libera nos amaro. Amen. Quinta stazione. Il Cireneo aiuta. Fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. Dal Vangelo secondo Luca. 
from the Gospel of Luke. As they led him away, they seized one Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, and laid him on the cross to carry it behind Jesus. During the summer, I played with my friends from the neighborhood in the park in front of my house. A new family had moved into the neighborhood with a son the same age as myself. But he did not play with us. He did not really speak our language well. One day, I noticed that he was watching us at a distance. He wanted to play with us, but he didn't have the courage to ask. So I, I went over to him, introduced myself, and invited him to play a game of football with us. Since then, Walid has been become one of my best friends, and the goalkeeper for our team as well. Looking at people from afar, first we only see their silhouette, and then we realize that it is a man or a woman. Then slowly, we, be we begin to make out the details of their face. But only when we see him or her as a brother or a sister, do we open our hearts to Jesus. Jesus, help me to welcome with love our brothers and sisters who feel lonely and excluded whenever I happen to meet them. Preghiamo. Signore, rendici capaci di riconoscerti negli ultimi. Lord, enable us to recognize you in the poor whom we encounter on our way. Give us the holy courage to give food to the hungry, to offer drink to the thirsty, to welcome strangers, to clothe the naked and heal the sick. To see and welcome you in each of our brothers and sisters. You live and reign forever and ever. Sanctificetur nomen tuum, advenia regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostro quotidiano, da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut e nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione, Sed libera nostra Sesta stazione. Una donna. Sixth station. A woman wipes the face of Jesus. Benedicimus Tibi, quia per Satan trocem tuam redemis Dal Vangelo secondo Matteo. From the Gospel of Matthew. I giusti risponderanno al Re. Then the righteous will answer him. Quando ti abbiamo visto affamato? Lord, when did we see you hungry? and feed you, or thirsty, and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger, and welcome you, or naked, and clothe you? And when did we see you sick, or in prison, and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. That day, I was playing in the most important game of the championship. It was a chance to display all my talent. In the locker room, I was nervous and on edge, but on entering the field, I saw among the spectators Marco, my best friend. Although he didn't like football, he'd come to support me. It was the first time he'd ever come to see me play. Unfortunately, we lost. While taking a shower, I was sad and discouraged. 
but after leaving the locker room there was my friend holding a soft drink and waiting for me. We spent some time together. That time together and that little gift made everything more bearable. Losing the game became less of a bad memory. An encounter, a look, a small gesture can change our day and warm our hearts. In the face of a friend or even a stranger who is upset, we can see the face of Jesus walking alongside me. Will I have the courage to get close? Fammi incrociare il tuo sguardo nei momenti di difficoltà, così che possa trovare conforto nel tuo amore. Jesus, may my eyes meet yours in times of difficulty, so that I can find comfort in your love. Lord, may the light of your face, so full of mercy, soothe the pain of the rejection and sin that afflict us, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Pater Noster, qui es in Celis, sanctificetur nomen Tuum, adveniat regnum Tuum, iat voluntas Tua, sicut in Celo et in Terra. Pane nostrum quotidiano da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, Et ne nos inducas in tentazione, sed libera nos amal. Amen. Cui non posse contristar, Christi Madre Mondem Plata, Dolente un Figlio. Settima stazione. Gesù. Seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. Dalla prima lettera di San Pietro Apostolo. From the first letter of St. Peter. E non si trovò inganno sulla sua bocca. He committed no sin, and no guile was found on his lips. Sul legno della croce. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he trusted to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. In fourth grade, I desperately wanted to be the star of the school play at the end of the year. I did my best to be chosen for the role. I repeated the lines over and over in front of a mirror. But the teachers decided to give the part to Giovanni. He was the boy who kept to himself. At the time, I felt humiliated. I was angry with myself, with the teacher and with Giovanni. The play turned out well, and from that point on, Giovanni opened up more with our class. My disappointment had served to help another person. The teacher's choice had given an opportunity to someone who really needed it. Jesus, Make me a channel of your love. Help me to hear the pleas of those who are suffering or experiencing difficult situations and to comfort them. Signore Padre Buono, rendici testimoni. Signore, tu sei caduto a terra come un uomo qualsiasi. Lord, you fell to the ground like any other person. Give us the strength to keep getting up, even when we no longer want to. In times of weariness and despair, may we be ever more convinced that with you at our side, we can always set out anew. 
who live and reign for ever and ever. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tu, adveniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amal. Amen. Provecati suetenis, vidi Jesum in tormentis, et flagellis sum Dio. Ottava stazione. Eighth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. Dal Vangelo secondo Luca. From the Gospel according to Luke. And there followed him a great multitude of the people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. My brother and I were playing video games all afternoon. When evening came, Mum asked if we'd done our homework. We both replied, Yes, Mum. I immediately went to my room and did my homework, while my brother kept watching the TV from the sofa. The next day he didn't go to school. He said he was sick and claimed he had a stomachache. When I came back home, I went to his room and we talked about what had happened. It was wrong for us to lie to our mother and for my brother to pretend to have a stomachache. I suggested that we do our homework right away and so I helped him catch up on what he'd missed the day before. Once we'd finished, we spent the rest of the afternoon playing. Correcting a brother or sister is difficult but necessary. It requires courage, simplicity and sensitivity. Jesus, you filled our hearts with sweetness and sensitivity. Help us to look after our little brothers and sisters. Lord, good Father, make us credible witnesses of your mercy. May our words and actions always be a sign of true love freely given for each of our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Eia Mater non samonis, me sentire in dolorum, apur te conclusera. Nona stazione. Gesù cade per la terza volta. Ninth station. Jesus falls for the third time. Dal Vangelo secondo Giovanni. From the Gospel of John. 
in verità. In verità io vi dico, Jesus said, Truly, truly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Nell'ultimo anno, con la famiglia non abbiamo più fatto visita ai nonni. Last year, our family could not visit our grandparents anymore. My parents told us it is dangerous, since we could make them sick with Covid. I miss them. I also miss my friends from volleyball and scouts. Often I feel alone. School is also closed. There used to be times when I didn't want to go. But now I would just like to get back to class, to see my classmates and teachers again. This miserable feeling of loneliness at times becomes unbearable. We feel abandoned by everybody, no longer even able to smile. Like Jesus, we find ourselves flat on the ground. Jesus, everlasting light, please shine on me whenever I get lost in gloomy thoughts and feel far away from you. Lord, as a sacrificial lamb, you went up to Calvary. Give us light in this dark night, lest we lose our way in these troubling times, who live and reign forever and ever. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, se libera nos amado. Amen. Agurare a Decima stazione. Gesù. Tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. Dal Vangelo secondo Marco. From the Gospel according to Mark. The soldiers crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them, to decide what each should take. This was to fulfill the scripture. They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Dalle mensole della mia camera on the shelves in my room, I had many dolls, each one of them different. I would receive a new doll as a gift on special occasions, and I was very fond of all my little friends. One Sunday, during the announcements at the end of Mass, a priest mentioned a collection of toys for refugee children from Kosovo. When I got back home, I looked at my dolls and thought, do I really need them? Somewhat sadly, I chose a few of them, the oldest ones, the ones I liked the least. 
Preparai la scatola. I prepared a box to bring them to church the following Sunday. La sera, però, that evening, though, I felt I had not done enough. By the time I went to sleep, the box was full of dolls and the shelves were empty. Getting rid of things we don't need lightens the soul and frees us from selfishness. Giving makes us happier than receiving. Jesus, watch over my heart. Free it from enslavement to material goods. Help me to give away not only the things I don't need, but also some of those I do. Lord, loving Father, bridge our distances. Make us generous in sharing the gifts of your providence with all our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione, se libera nos amado. Amen. Santa Madre Nistutanas, crucifix difficile trata, Undicesima stazione. Gesù. Eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Dal Vangelo secondo Luca. From the Gospel according to St. Luke. And the people stood by, watching. But the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar, and saying, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. On Christmas Day, we went to Rome with the scouts to visit the Missionary Sisters of Charity and to distribute to the, food, the food to the most needy instead of celebrating the day with our families. On the train as we went there, I thought of all the things I was missing. My grandmother's homemade pasta the games we would play, the Christmas cake, the opened gifts in front of the fireplace. On the way back, I thought of all the faces of the people I had served, their smiles and the stories they told. The thought of having brought those people a little happiness made that Christmas unforgettable. Offering ourselves and serving others with love is the teaching that Jesus gives us from the cross. Liberaci dal nostro orgoglio e dei nostri pregiudizi. Jesus, free us from our pride and our prejudice. Open our hearts to the people around us. Preghiamo. Signore, donaci la grazia di non rimanere inchiodati nei nostri Lord, give us the grace not to be nailed to our sins but to see in each of our shortcomings a new possibility for revealing the power of your cross, the source of life and hope, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tu, adveniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amado. Amen. Uinati vulnerati, amdignati provevati, penas me cundivi, Dodicesima stazione. Twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. Adoramus te Christe, et benedicimus ti. Quia per santam crucem tuam redemistimum. Dal Vangelo secondo Luca. From the Gospel according to Luke. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Not long ago, after discussing the topic in class, I wrote a paper about children caught up in organized crime. I thought, how can they do such terrible things? Is it right to forgive those things? And what about me? Would I be able to forgive them? Dying on the cross, Jesus offered salvation to everyone. He came not to call the righteous, but sinners who have the humility and the courage to be converted. Jesus, give us the strength to forgive, for you have told us that there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who have no need of repentance. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross for us. Accept our lives as we cling to yours, a sure and everlasting offer of grace, who live and reign for ever and ever. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimittimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nostra malo. Amen. Vidis un dolce nato, Tredicesima stazione. Il corpo di Gesù è deposto. Thirteenth station. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. Dal Vangelo secondo Matteo. From the Gospel of Matthew. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea, 
named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. People jumped out of the ambulance dressed like astronauts, wearing protective suits, gloves, masks and face shields. They took away my grandfather, who had been having difficulty breathing. That was the last time I saw my grandfather. He died a few days later in the hospital. I think of how lonely he must have felt. I could not, I could not bear to be near him. I could not be near him physically, to tell him goodbye and to comfort him. I prayed for him every day. That way, I was able to be there with him during his final journey on this earth. We thank you, Jesus, for having given us by your death on the cross the power of hope. Lord, loving Father, grant that we may feel your closeness as a consoling and reconciling presence until the time when, by a gift of your providence, you call us to be one with you through Christ our Lord. Father Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos in lucas in tentazione, se libera nos amal. Amen. Ac me te cum pie flere, crucifixo con dolere, non et ego vixero. Quattordicesima stazione. Fourteenth station. The body of Jesus is placed in the tomb. Dal Vangelo secondo Matteo. From the Gospel of Matthew. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb, and he departed. Dear Jesus, my name is Sarah, and I am 12 years old. I want to thank you because today you taught me to do good for the sake of your love. You taught me to overcome my troubles by trusting in you, to love others as my brothers and sisters, and to get up every time I fall. You taught me to serve others to get rid of my prejudices, to recognize what is important, and above all, to unite my life to yours each day. Today, thanks to your act of infinite love, I know that death is not the end of everything. Jesus, help us to keep praying even when our hearts feel as heavy as the stone before your tomb. O Lord, loving Father, when we encounter painful events along the journey of life, give us the hope of Easter, the path leading from death to resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. 
Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, arvenia regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Quando corpus mori, Signore Padre Buono, anche quest'anno... Lord, merciful Father, once again this year we have followed your Son, Jesus, on the way of the cross. We followed him by listening to the voices and the prayers of the children whom you yourself set before us as the model for entering your kingdom. Help us to be like them little, in need of everything, open to life. May we regain our purity of heart and our ability to see things in a clear light. We ask you to bless and protect every child in our world. May all children grow in wisdom, age and grace and so come to know and follow your special plan for their happiness. Bless to all parents and those who assist them in raising these, your children, so that they may always feel one with you as givers of life and love. Through Christ our Lord. Signore sia con voi. E con il tuo spirito. Sia benedetto il nome del Signore. Ora e sempre. Il nostro aiuto nel nome del Signore. Egli ha fatto cielo e terra. E benedica Dio Onnipotente, Padre, Figlio e Spirito Santo. Amen. While the choir is singing some of the children who prepared the reflections and the drawings for today's Stations of the Cross are greeting the Holy Father, embracing him and speaking quietly with him. Holy Father is slowly making his way back on foot into St. Peter's Basilica from the Sacrado, the space in front of the Basilica where he has been leading today's celebration. The celebration was attended by a small group of invited people from the Vatican 
and the Holy Father himself was in the shelter that he normally uses when the general audience is given in public in St. Peter's Square, a special covered area on the Sacrato, the steps in front of the Basilica, with a wonderful view across the piazza and down the Via della Conciliazione. Normally, on Easter Sunday, the whole place is thronged with people, but of course this year we will be seeing many similar situations to this evening with an largely empty square because of the health restrictions that are in place. The Holy Father is greeting not only some of the children who did the drawings, but also some of the sisters who look after them in the children's homes in Rome. Sisters of the Mother of Divine Love, a very popular devotion to Our Lady in Rome, the, the, the Divine Love. There's a shrine situated very close to the children's home where these young people come from, which many Romans like to visit. from the Sistine Choir has been singing just inside the narthex of the Basilica, leading the singing during the celebration of the Stations of the Cross. And so this ends the live broadcast of the celebration of the Stations of the Cross that was presided over by His Holiness Pope Francis here at St. Peter's Square in Rome. Do please visit the Vatican News web portal, the Facebook, Instagram and Twitter accounts for a summary of this event as well as coverage of Vatican and World News. And do please join us again tomorrow for the Easter Vigil, which Pope Francis will celebrate at the altar of the chair inside St. Peter's Basilica, beginning at 7.30pm Rome time. On behalf of Vatican Media, I wish you all the blessings of this sacred time. Laudetur Jesus Christus. Amen.